Hello there, if you don't know me, my name is Maria and I like to make technology videos on the internet. But in today's video, I'm going to be completely redecorating my entire room, which is my office space. You might be thinking, Maria, why are you doing this? Your room seems functional and things work, you know? Well, personally, things aren't working for me. My chair makes my back really hurt because I can't, I don't have a standing desk. I can't really change the position. I can't stand up or sit down. So I'm sitting the whole day and I use this room a lot because if you didn't know, I am going into my third year of university and at this time it's going to be Zoom University, which is the sad days. So I'm going to be studying in here and also I work part-time as a software engineering intern. So I'm going to be using my desk and everything so much that I wanted to remake over this space. And also all of like the decorations around here have been here since I was a kid. So it's kind of weird that I haven't changed things around. So in this video, I'm hoping to make over things in my physical space so that they help me more mentally prepare for the school year and just make me a happier person overall. So let's get started with this room makeover. So the first step of this room makeover is actually decluttering my stuff because I know a lot of people think that I'm an organized person but that's only on the internet because in real life when there are physical things I just stuff them into random containers and stuff so now I need to actually clean up this and if you can't see I have this whole stack of all of these papers and things from my last semester of school which I haven't cleaned up yet and I'm wondering why my mom didn't keep my butt about this yet but I'm gonna go through all these papers and I also have a lot of like bank notices and stuff that I got like when I made a bank account and stuff like that so I need to clean up those too and those are all on my bookshelf oh my goodness there's so much cleaning I need to do and I'll go through all my books which ones I want to move to the basement or like donate or give away so yeah this is step number one Also, guess what I found under the stack of all my papers? Yes, I own this book. So does everyone. It's okay, I would say. It's pretty good, I think. And I don't know, went through a few chapters of it. It's interesting. It requires a lot more work outside of just reading it though. So that's why not everyone has gone through it. Okay, now we need to go through all of these notebooks, which are probably like half full or something. Then all of these three. Oh my goodness. This is actually, I think, something from Ikea for like your washroom, but I just use it in my bedroom. So like a few years ago, it was a trend for people to give you like these fake credit cards, like these Visa ones. But then, yeah, now I only have like a dollar on like all of these, so I need to cut them up because I'm never gonna use them. I'm never just gonna go into a place and be like, yeah, put a dollar on this card, two dollars on that card, and it's like so dumb. So I just have to get rid of them. And plus they're probably already expired anyways. Also, explain to me why I have three effing calculators. When in university, you're not even allowed to use a calculator in math. I was going to buy some journals, but now I found this huge stack of them that I haven't used or I've only used a few pages. I'm very happy with this. Whoa, am I actually a hoarder? Because this is like my first semester. Oh my goodness, engineering. Oh yeah, and that was funny. But I feel what the first day was. It was... I think I missed my physics lecture on the first day of school in university because the school randomly changed the time of when physics was and that was really dumb and I was so pissed and I missed my first lecture. Okay, now I have cleaned up. This is all the garbage stuff. That stuff I need to put away. That's all the old schoolwork. 
This I'm gonna put in the basement, all my notebooks. These papers I'm gonna give my mom so she can do some shopping lists. Oh, this notebook I'll put somewhere. This I'll keep here, I guess. And final product is a few notebooks here. Then kind of here, all my markers, kind of. Some other school supplies. Notebooks that I haven't used and all my calculators. Here is the notebooks that I'm currently using. Now, moving into my bookshelf area, I have all these art notebooks, random stuff I threw there, yearbook stuff, books I am going to read, and then like my banking papers I need to clean up. Oh. Okay, I don't even know what I have uncovered here, but for some reason I have a Polly Pocket movie DVD. I remember this movie. It was great. I loved it. Amazing. Yes, DVD inside. And then I have some random drama songs. Yuck. Yeah, I don't even know what this thing is. Oh my god. Junior Play 20 songs. <laughs> oh, I think it was something about Wonder. I don't know. Who cares? Those plays are all bad. But yeah, I have random stuff here. A bunch of cards for my friends. I keep a lot of cards. And then this is me trying to clean my bookshelf. So today we're painting and I put in this wall hole filler that's actually really cool. It's pink at first and then it changes into white when it's dry. So as you can see, I have a lot of <laughs> holes in my wall over the years. I covered my bookshelf. I put the green tape all around the walls. I'm not focusing. Okay, and then covered my standing desk as you can see. We built this. My dad is from Autonomous AI. It's very beautiful. You can set the heights and everything. So I'll show you that after because right now it's unplugged. And yeah, I'm gonna paint today. I found this paint color and I'm also gonna paint my window too. second day of painting. I did the walls twice and now I just finished painting my window frame twice. Now it's more of a white before it was very dirty. Okay so I'm finally done painting and now I'm trying to figure out where to place things. So I'll show you what the room looks like now. I moved my bookshelf over here. I don't know, I put the pot on top, I would a plant on top of it for now. I bought two plants. Still need to organize my bookshelf. Random chair for painting. I need to put up curtains, but then I missed one piece from Ikea, so I have to go back to Ikea. I also got this other cute little plant. I never really had plants before. And I moved my computer over here, like my desk over here, instead of beside the window, because my window doesn't have very good um, like insulation. So then in the winter, my hands will get very cold. And I'm thinking of putting some stuff at the side over here. And then, I don't know, putting some art up because I bought some art. So now I guess it's time to decorate. So now I have my tiny whiteboard that I just spray painted the border gold instead of pink in my garage. And I bought these two frame things. Like instead of a bulletin board like I had before, I want to put these above my desk. And I want to show you some of the art that I got on Etsy. Okay, so the first thing that I got from Etsy is this cute Studio Ghibli postcard. Like it has so many different characters and it's from this cute I think husband and a wife couple that make these designs. So I'll link all of these Etsy shops below. And then came in this beautiful package. I ordered a little 
up, 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 stroke. It's up, uh, and an egg flying beside him, and this is so beautiful, and it's such a nice paper. So beautifully done. And then, in this nice tube, see, I got a very beautiful poster of Ed and Al from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So good. I can't wait to put this up. It's so beautiful. And then I also have this other thing company coming from this other Etsy shop, which are these little Polaroids of Gone and Killua from Hunter x Hunter. So yeah, I'm waiting for those to come and I'm very excited. And I'm going to decorate with like some of my old decorations that I also had. So I'm going to put all these things up and try to figure out how to redecorate things. Okay, so now it's finally the part where we get to decorate. So I got my dad to help me put up my whiteboard and it's golden now. And then I also got him to put up these two things that I got from Amazon so I can hang pictures on them. And then this wall is very empty. So I'm going to be using these little wooden hanger hooks and this double-sided tape that I can use. And here are some of the drawings that I'm going to be putting up. Yeah, I think this one, I'll use a double-sided tape. These ones, they might hang up. Otherwise, we'll see. 